Ready to go, dear. Lovely. <laughs> Hello and welcome to this edition of the Native News Update on Friday, October 9th. I'm your host for today's program, Kimberly Acosta. Many of the stories you hear here today can be found at our website, IndianCountryNews.com, or you can check out IndianCountryTV.com. And here's the news for the day from the Associated Press and other Native News sources. Two people died and over 20 were injured after taking ill in a sweat lodge at a New Age retreat in Sedona, Arizona, according to local law enforcement officers earlier today. A spokesman for the Ivapi County Sheriff's Office said that some of the casualties had been inside the sweat dome for over two hours. He told reporters that investigators were looking at pre-existing medical conditions and possible toxicity of the materials in the structure. He described the lodge as a crude dome that had been covered with tarps and blankets. Preheated rocks were brought inside the structure and were doused with water to create a sauna-like atmosphere for the 64 people who had participated in the activity. He said some of the participants had paid over $9,000 to partake in this program. Mohawk singer, Aj excuse me, Mohawk singer Ajiak Dungye won this year's NAMI for Best Folk Recording with his latest album, Four Wolf's Prophecy. Proceeds from the sale of this album go to the Akwesasne Freedom School, where his youngest son is a student. The school is dedicated to immersing, immersing Mohawk children into their culture and language, and to prevent both from being lost. Since sales are lagging for his new album, he hopes the NAMI Award will boost his sales so he can continue making donations to the school. I'm going to keep going with that once I've paid my producer, he said, so I'll, I'll stay poor, but the change and the confidence in the students is worth it. My son walks the way most people wish they could. Ajiak Dungye began singing when he was 19 and didn't pick up a guitar until he was in his 20s. He has written over 2,000 songs and is working on a cover of the 1971 hit Riders in the Storm by The Doors and a song written by, for him by Neil Young, as well as many other originals that he has created. For more information or to purchase a CD to help his cause, you can visit ajiagdungye.com. The mother of missing teen, Hilary Bunnell, is moving away from the Burnt Church First Nation to the Neguic area in hopes of getting closer to the investigation of her missing daughter. Hillary's mother, Pamela, still wants to get involved very closely with the investigation, and that is why she has decided to move. She's working really hard to attract more attention to Hillary's disappearance and is working very closely with the RCMP to help them out and bring Hillary home. Inspector Fortin, one of the officers who met with the Bunnell family on Wednesday, also addressed the issue of people collecting funds on behalf of the cause. While Fortin acknowledges these donations may have been set up under noble intentions, if not permitted by the family, it could cause harm. She's not supporting the cans and other things, he said. At the end of the day, they're diverting the attention away from their real story, and that is bringing Hillary home. Last weekend's search of the waters in the area resulted in no evidence being found, Fortin said. The search, he added, was simply an attempt for investigators to find evidence, and police are not looking for Bunnell in the waters. Hillary Bunnell, who went missing on the morning of September 5th, is 5 foot 5 and about 134 pounds. She is Aboriginal and has long black hair and brown eyes. She was last seen wearing a black sweater, purple t-shirt, blue jean shorts, and flip-flops. Anyone with information about Hillary's disappearance can call the RCMP at 1-888-506-7267 or the New Brunswick's Crime Stoppers at 1-800-222-8477. Widely known hip-hop artist, actor, motivational speaker, Lightfoot has released the 2009 catalog for his clothing line, Native Style. Since 2002, Native Style has been providing a line of updated casual clothing and accessories that help their customers express their own personal sense of style, while at the same time expressing their appreciation of the indigenous people and cultures of the Americas. What began as one brand has grown to include Native Style Kosher, Native Style Street, Native Style Kids, Native Honey, Indian, Indian Goddess, Lightfoot Brand Clothing, Pow Wow University, and Redvolution. Featured on this year's Native Style Catalog is Ernie Stevens Jr., the chairman for the National Indian Gaming Association. For more information on Lightfoot and his clothing line, you can check out lightfoot.com. 
known as a reservation sensation and the funniest Native American comedian, J.R. Redwater, not only has a passion for making people laugh, but he also is on a mission to help his people. Redwater, who will be featured in the Native Comedy Showtime special in November, is getting involved with award-winning relief agency, Can Do, which stands for Compassion in Action Network, Direct Outcome Organization. With extensive frontline experience in some of the worst natural disasters in the world, Can Do is proud to announce the expanded launch of virtualvolunteer.tv, which had its first live broadcast on September 25th and 26th. The broadcast aired the, op the grand opening of the 60 foot by 30 foot community greenhouse, the community thrift store, and community gardens at the com as the completion of phase two of Can Do's ongoing revitalization project in the nation's poorest county on the Crow Creek Reservation in South Dakota, demonstrating to donors, media, and leaders worldwide the impact of their involvement in creating this vital initiative. Participa participants will be actively involved in the process creating a new dimension to humanitarian relief and new standards in the field. Virtualvolunteer.tv is a revolutionary interactive technology that connects donors, viewers, and participants with those on the front lines in real time. Virtual Volunteer TV is the first online interactive real-time video website that allows donors, family members, government officials, companies, leaders, teachers, and organizations anywhere in the world to directly participate in critical relief efforts vastly improving eff efficiency, accountability, and transparency in efforts that are often laden with bureaucracy and red tape. For more information on their efforts, you can check out CanDo.org. And that's the latest roundup of news from Indian Country on this edition of the Native News Update. And I'd like to thank you for joining us, and have a grand day.